This Rocky Cooktop is uh, using a design called the Sidewinder. And um, it is a batch box style, which means you've got to place your wood in there rather exactly in order for it to work. And if your wood touches the, the slot in the back, it stops working correctly. But an interesting thing is, is that, um, now it does not have a bench, but when the, the guy that built it, he believed that what we needed to do was to have a bypass uh, right about here and to make it so that there was a little bit of a bench that kind of wrapped around this post that um, uh, the exhaust gases could run in there and come back and it would heat the bench just like that one heats the bench and then the exhaust gases would then go up. Um, but we never got around to building that bench. But we've got the rocket cooktop and um, it puts out gases that are a little bit hotter than that does, because that's going to try and harvest the heat more uh, through the bench before it goes up and out. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a, a rocket cooktop. And um, it, it heats it up with very little wood. You get, you can, um, it does, I mean, we've still got this, this gas stove here. Um, it's a propane stove. Propane, of course, being off-grid's dirty little secret. And um, so this is this is the grid. This is like we we need to get this working so well at some point that we can take this out of here. But my impression is is that right now when people are starting their day and they come in here to cook, that um, it's taking uh, a lot longer to get like a kettle on to get a kettle boiling than it does over here. And so I kind of feel like we need to improve all of this so that this is, is far more appealing than that. Not only because this uses sticks of wood we find lying around on the ground, um, but because it's just more convenient. I, I wish for all of our stuff to add luxury, not add sacrifice. I mean, if you go, out, if you go outside right now, chances are you won't find wild propane leaping through <laughs> the bushes. Uh, so, but the sticks, you'll find plenty of those. You just need to dry them out a little bit. This time of year, you might not even have to do that. So what's going to happen is, is that when, when you put a, build a fire in here, you're going to have a hot spot, and you're going to have a, a warm spot. And, and so then you're like, over here, you're like, okay, I got it up to the temperature I want, now I want to simmer. In time, you're going to learn where the hot spots are, and where the warm spots are, and things like that. And then, of course, eventually your fire is going to diminish, and then that that super hot spot is not as hot. You're going to choose whether you want to like move your stuff over to what used to be the hot spot, or are you going to add some wood? Got it. You know, it's it's a different way of operating it. Got it. But you're you're not chasing wild propane outside. You're just picking up sticks. Right. So if you come out here for a month, then um, uh, it's quite plausible that everything you need is right here, and um, if you run out of sticks, you'll go get some more. But then um, it's it's you know if you're using this that tank might run out and you got to go into town and get another tank. This is a rocket cooktop and this I think I'm going to guess that this works better for boiling water than the other rocket cooktop. Is that fair? Yes. So I know for sure that the flames on this one come up right about here. And so then um, you go ahead and you can cook right here. And once it's like really cooking, you can move it over here and it doesn't cook as quite as hot. Um, so uh, I believe that the path is like this, so that, so that the big hot stuff is over here. It might be over in this corner here. This is where it's the hottest. And then it kind of comes over here and this is the coolest. So, you know, if you move your pan around depending on how, so you might be having your pan over here to cook your eggs in the morning, and you have your kettle right there because it's such an insanely hot place that you boil water in almost no time at all. <laughs>